Welcome to the latest installment of Chord by Chord, the series designed to build your understanding of harmony in the fretboard. In the last lesson, we worked on B7. In this lesson, we're going to go over F7. Now remember, a dominant 7th chord is built from a major triad with the flatted 7th on top. Example 1 shows us the notes in an F major triad, F, A, and C. Example 2 shows us the notes in an F7 chord, F, a, C, and E flat. Example 3 shows us how to get from F to F7 using bar chords at the first fret. These are some of the hardest bar chords to play on the fretboard. A few tips would be one, to really lean into that um, first finger bar. Um, I tend to use my second finger and kind of like lean it against it to push it down more. Another thing is to use your ear to guide your hand and make sure that each specific note is ringing out by pulling, really pulling down on that first finger bar and making sure the first fret on the high E string is being fretted. Example 4 shows us a couple of compact voicings on the top four strings. <laughs> Example 5 shows us a couple of voicings on the middle four strings. Example 6 shows us how to get to F7 from F using two eighth position bar chords. You don't have to play all the strings in these bar chords to get the effect, you could also just play the bottom four strings. And lastly, example 7 shows us two voicings on the top four strings where C is in the bass. You should now know a variety of ways to play F7 on the fretboard. One song that makes use of an F7 chord is Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain Too much love drives a man insane You broke my will, but what a thrill Goodness gracious, great balls of fire I left that love before I thought it was funny Then you came along and you moved me, honey You changed my mind, this love is fine Goodness gracious, great balls of fire Thanks for watching. In the next lesson, we'll return to major seven chords.